All right, so you've just spent the morning cleaning your car and you've noticed that you have sap deposits on your vehicle that, that are either fresh or have been there for a while. Uh, so let's talk about a few methods that you can use to take care of these uh, using professional products. Um, so two of the products that I have on hand are G-Technic tar and glue remover. I've used this before. It works pretty well uh, on sap uh, as a sap remover, but it works very well as a tar remover. And the second product that I have is from DIY Detail. This is their tree sap remover. This is probably the best tree sap remover that I've tried so far. The third option that you can get locally is Stoner's Tarminator. And I've used that product in the past and that does work very well. Um, and it's something you can grab locally. Um, so let's talk about the process of actually doing the, the sap removal. All right, so I've got a couple of sap deposits here that I need to remove from the vehicle. So let's go over how you would do that. So I would start off with my product in a microfiber towel that I am planning on throwing away. Do not use quality microfibers for this. You do want to use something that's not going to be harsh enough to scratch the paint, but you don't want to use something that you're spending a lot of money on. Uh, so the Kirkland microfibers are a good option or Harbor Freight is now uh, selling some halfway decent microfibers. So you can grab those and that can be used as your throwaway microfiber. Um, the other option is if you have some older microfibers that you've downgraded over time, use one of those, throw it out afterwards and move on. Uh, so start off with spraying a little bit of product on your towel and then a little bit of product on the panel. And you want to apply your towel and give it a few seconds to work, okay? What you're doing is letting the product sink into the sap and break it down. So once, as you can see, it's starting to get a little sticky. Now I can start rubbing very lightly, no pressure, just to start agitating that sap and having it removed. So most of it's gone. I'm gonna finish this out. Very, very light pressure. and it's almost gone. This is a, a pretty large sap deposit, so it's not getting removed as quickly as one of the smaller ones. And now I need a little bit more product. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna wipe a little bit larger of an area, and I'm gonna go back over with one more spray and wipe down that area. What's happening is there's residual sap that gets spread out over this area, and we wanna take care of that. So that's why we do that last, that last wipe and uh, spray and wipe. Okay. All right, let's talk about this spot right here. So what's actually happening? Over time, sap is, well, sap is very corrosive, and over time, it'll start eating through your clear coat. So what we're seeing is the discoloration of the clear coat uh, from where that, that sap deposit was. If I look at this in the right light, you can actually see a little bit of where the clear coat was eaten away and now would need to be polished to fully remove that. It's very faint. I don't think I'll be able to pick it up on the camera, but I can see it with my eye. Um, over time, I believe this will, this will fade, uh, but that's a main reason why you want to get these removed as quickly as possible. Always have some of this on hand if you live in an area where you have uh, trees that have some kind of sap deposit, whether it's, you know, in the northern climates, we have pine and some of the coniferous trees. I would recommend having some of this on hand and use this process. Once you're done with that towel, throw it away and move on. All right, so I've got a couple more tree sap deposits I'm gonna work on. There's these two here and then this last one here. So same process, spray a little bit on, let it sit, spray a little bit on your towel, apply your towel and then wipe. And after a few minutes, this should get removed. I prefer the DIY product when I'm dealing with tree sap because it makes very quick work of this. The G-Technic line I found was not as quick to remove that sap deposit. There we go. So now that we've talked to how to take care of tree sap that you find on your paint, let's talk about what you do when you find it on your windows. Uh, so there's a couple methods. You can use the same product on your windows. What I've found is it makes a bigger mess than it's worth. Uh, so my method that I recommend is actually using a razor blade, either you have the with the holder or just a straight razor blade and using that with some lubrication. So in this case, I'm gonna be using uh, a little bit of glass cleaner, some old glass cleaner that I no, no longer use to actually clean the windows. And that's gonna be my lubrication and I can scrape that off from the window without doing any damage. Uh, so that's my method when I find it on the windows. It's super quick. It's a lot quicker than actually doing it with the uh, tree sap remover. Um, so I'm gonna do this small one here with the 
tool and then the big one with the razor blade itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Spray a little bit on there. All right, and then with the tool, just very gently glide down. And then at an angle, you almost want to be, use your finger as a fulcrum, put your finger down and then glide it across. And that's going to take all that tree sap off. And now there's nothing left there. All right, so there we go. That is method number one. Method number two is when you have just a straight razor blade, you're going to take it out of the sheath. If you have a fresh razor blade, it'll be fine. Um, so spray a little bit of your product, just like we did last time. This one, you want to put your finger down and angle the, the blade down. So that way you have a little bit of leverage and that's going to give you the proper angle. And then from there, you can just glide it across and then work your way under the tree sap. And then that should be gone. All right, so that's my method for removing tree sap from, uh, from glass. It's super effective, it's super quick. Uh, so if you have a razor blade on hand or one of the tools, uh, just a little glass cleaner, scrape that off, hold the blade at an angle, and that uh, tree sap will come right off. Uh, make sure that you have some kind of lubrication down. Do not do it dry, because you do risk the, uh, run the risk of scratching your window. But as long as you have some form of lubrication, whether it's glass cleaner or if you have a rinseless product, uh, some kind of rinseless wash, um, that'll work just as well. Uh, so anything that's going to provide lubrication, even if it's just soapy water, that'll work as well. Uh, so as long as you have that, that'll scrape off, and then that'll be the quickest way to get tree sap off of your glass. All right, so that is how you can quickly and safely remove a tree sap from your vehicle. You want to get it off as quickly as possible. If you have a decent layer of protection on your car, it's going to be easier to remove, and you're going to have less of a chance for the discoloration that we see here. Um, but over time, if left on the paint, this will eat through your clear coat. So if this is left on for years, you could potentially have clear coat failure, and that'll start all kinds of problems. So get it off as quickly as you can, and then you'll have a very good looking vehicle for years to come. Uh, again, the three products that I recommend are uh, Stoner's Terminator. If you're trying to source it locally, go to one of your auto parts stores. Most of the time they can they have it in stock. If not, they can get it for you if you ask them. Uh, so they should be able to special order it since they are a Stoner's distributor. And then the other two products are G-Technics uh, tar and glue remover. This is very good. If you also have tar that needs to be removed, um, I would pick up this product that kills two birds with one stone. And then the last one that I prefer for tree sap is DIY Detail Tree Sap Remover. Um, this one works better on tree sap. It's not as effective on tar, but it still does remove the tar deposits. So um, I would start with those, give that a try. Hopefully that solves your problem. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of these tip style videos. And if you like more of an ASMR or cinematic style detailing video, check out some of the other work that I've done. Uh, I've done everything from a GT500 all the way down to a regular vehicle like this Prius or a work truck. So I have the gamut of vehicles. The only thing I haven't done yet is a Ferrari or Lamborghini, but maybe that'll come in the future.